Hello from Shrix and hello from Smartherd. What's up folks? In this video, we are going to learn about the implicit intent that will make user to rate your application in the Play Store. Now in our Eclipse, let's continue our make your Android application tutorials. This was our application that we were making Android interview. Now, so far we have added the functionality to simple questions and tough question button. Now it's time we should add our functionality to see our other apps and rate app. Now how we are going to do it? Now this was our activity frontpage.java. Now let's open it. Here inside our frontpage.java let us scroll down. Now here this is our simple question button and this is our tough question button. We have already added the functionality to these two buttons. Now let us add the functionality to these two buttons as of now. Now let me first show you the intent which is used to make user rate your app in the Play Store. Now here what we are gonna do we are first going to define an URI. Let us type URI space let's say uri1 equal to uri dot parse now this is a parse function inside which we have to define the url of our application now guys what is our url of our application initially i told you this strix dot android interview should be unique so this package name will provide the URI with the help of which the user can reach our application in the Play Store. So what we are going to do, the URI of the Play Store is little bit different for the Android application. Now the Play Store application that you have inside your smartphone is having, each application is having a different kind of URI. So what's that? Let's check out. The URI is such as market colon forward slash forward slash details question mark id now after id you have to write the package name now our package name is what shrakes dot android interview fine now this completes our uri now guys similar to the websites each application in the play store is having a specific address that address should be unique fine like the website address is unique so our address of our application should be unique and this is our package name that makes our address of application unique so make sure your package name should be unique now if your package name is not unique guys then please don't worry about it. I will show you how to change your package name if you have not given a unique package name in the upcoming tutorials. So as of now don't worry about it. Now here I have done some mistake. Interview fine. Now instead of directly writing the streaks.interview your package name what we can do we can just add get package name fine. So this get package name function will automatically be equivalent to Android interview. Oops guys, I did a mistake here. ID equal to fine equal to our package name right now. Now our second step is to define an intent which is actually the implicit intents. Let's give it a name go to market intent then inside I have to define what intent dot action underscore view fine now next our uri one fine now guys let me explain you what i have done here and now this uri object of the class uri is having the url of our application so this statement of defining an intent it shows our type of implicit intent is actually action view and we are jump on to this URL which I have stored here as URI1. Now after that our syntax to start activity start activity go to market fine now this completes our codes but it is actually incomplete why it is incomplete I will just show you now let us do one thing now guys this is my real device GT18552 that I have connected to my PC with the help of a USB cable. 
Now this is actually droid at the red screen. Please check out my playlist of Android miscellaneous tutorials. In that playlist I have showed you how you can install a software droid at the red screen so that you can see your real device which is present outside your PC. You can make it visible in your system. So please check my Android miscellaneous tutorial playlist and please install this software. Now let us run our application. Now here our application is running. Now let us click on this red app. Now here when we click on this red app then it is redirected to the play store. Now since I have not launched this android interview in the play store that is why inside the play store it is showing item not found. Fine but our intention was just to check whether our code is working or not so it is perfectly working fine. If our app would have been in the play store then rate your application page will be displayed right here in front of you and the user can easily rate your application. Now let me show you why this code is incomplete. Now this is my real android device. What if if I run my application in this emulator. Now this emulator is not having the play store. What I am talking about is if you compare the real device and this emulator device in my real device there is an application Google Play Store. So that is why with the help of Play Store it is redirecting user to rate your application. Now if suppose the user is using a smartphone which do not have inbuilt Play Store application then if you run this application with only this much of code then when the user will click on this rate app button then the application will probably crash. This is because the user's smartphone is not having the play store application. Now this emulator is also not having the play store application. So let us try running our application inside our Shrek's device. Fine. Now let's run it. Yes, now our application is running. Now let's click rate app button. Yes, the application Android interview has stopped unexpectedly. Please try again. Now this is because the Google Play Store application is not available in our Shrek's device. So you have to handle the exception. Suppose if user is using a smartphone which do not have an inbuilt Play Store application then your application Android interview will probably crash. So this will make the user to probably uninstall your application because the users do not want an unstable application in their smartphones. So what we are going to do? We are going to just surround this code with try catch block. So here what we are going to do? We are going to write try then after that write here catch and inside the function let's write activity not found exception fine let's write e now inside the catch statement we are going to define a new e a new uri control c control v now what we are going to do instead of market we are going to type what http play.google.com slash store slash apps forward slash details now now what changes we have done here we have just replaced this market with http play.google.com forward slash store forward slash apps forward slash details now rest of the things after that remain same. Now why I have done this? Now suppose users smartphone do not have a play store application then this code will throw some exception and which will be activity not found exception. Now this activity is actually referring to Google Play Store activity. So if Google Play Store is not found in the users smartphone then it is going to open this link with the help of the browser. Now guys there is always a default browser which you can see here in every smartphone. So even if the play store application is not available in the user's smartphone 
then the user will be able to rate your application with the help of this browser fine yes rest of the things should be same fine no props now let's save our application and run it yes now let's click on the rate app bam now you can see our play store application was not available in our smartphone so it has automatically redirected to the play.google.com slash apps slash details and with our package name so this code was not executed because this code has thrown some exception which was caught by our catch statement and after that this URL was opened by our smartphone using the inbuilt browser which you can see here now guys again our application was not in the play store so if you clearly see it has written sorry we are the required URL was not found as this in this server now this is because our application we have not launched it in our play store so that is why it is not showing that page so our target was to just learn how we can make user to rate application without making our application crashing so we have successfully handled the exception guys so in the next video i will show you how you can make user to check your other applications that you have published in the play store so this is all for this tutorial guys catch you guys in the next video stay tuned and please subscribe to my channel if you like what you saw and please like comment do share my video this is Shrakes from SmartHerd signing off and thanks for watching. Have a good day. Thank you.